Uh, did you mention that the bouldering gyms, climbing gyms, uh, always have a grades and stuff for people to understand like how hard is it? Yeah, they have the V level for bouldering and they have the five point or whatever level for the... Yeah, it's here in the United States, yeah. but in, in yeah. Europe and Russia, we have a little bit different one. Yeah. So yeah. we have 7A, 7B. Uh, what do you think about this one? You see, you have a, a obstacle, but <laughs> it's hard to understand how hard is it. I mean, maybe we should put the N stair two. N2. Two. You wanna... But it really depends. It's not just the obstacle itself, it's how you set the obstacle that could make a huge difference. Just like when you're uh, bouldering, if you change one boulder a little bit, it changes the, the way that you grab it. It makes it makes it like a crimp into a, a sloper sometimes, depending upon the shape of the hold. And likewise, if we just change an angle of something or make it a little higher, it could make it a, a, like a couple grades higher. Um, Jeff Britton tried to band people together to kind of come up with a system, um, but I, I think it would be a really good idea if we came up with, a, with an N rating system. Every time when you set up the course, I mentioned that uh, you have a kind of uh, order of obstacles. Pretty much every time is different, but it's kind of similar skills. Yeah, I'm just basing that off of uh, American Ninja Warrior. Uh, over the years they came up with sort of a formula. Um, I don't know if, if that's the best word for it, but uh, each, each of the obstacles at a certain position number usually have similar dynamics to it. For instance, in the beginning there's some sort of agility, um, over the years they had quintuple steps going side to side, then it turned into floating steps, then there's the arch archer steps, so some sort of stepping sort of thing rising up into, mm -hmm. into grabbing a rope. Second, there's often a big swinging obstacle or a sliding obstacle. Third is sometimes balance uh, or, or agility, some people call it, um, but sometimes it's some other sort of liché or swinging obstacle. So three and four often switch places, sometimes the balance is earlier, sometimes the balance is later, or the agility. Um, five is usually a grip intensive obstacle, mm -hmm. uh, and such as the doorknob drop or um, ring toss in the very beginning, something, it was a, the ring hopper. Uh, there's all sorts of different number fives, but it's usually upper body intensive. And then six is, is the warped wall. Seven has for a long time or almost always been the salmon ladder. And obstacle eight is usually a very technical obstacle that has a huge diversity in, in it, depending upon being on the like on the show a couple of times and testing a lot of regions. Yeah, obstacle eight is always one of the like hardest and newest obstacles yeah. that they put. It is like okay, this is the spirit here. Yeah. Here and, and it's often you the bubble. Whether you qualify for Vegas or not is is like obstacle eight is usually the case. Sometimes it's salmon ladder, but usually obstacle eight or nine is is usually the bubble. Mm -hmm. And nine one. Uh, that's also usually in a very upper body intensive obstacle, uh, sometimes a finger intensive, sometimes just a grip intensive, and because it's later on in the course, you're already really tired, so it exponentially makes it more difficult. Mm -hmm. And then 10 has shifted over the years um, to some sort of um, either a spider climb or uh, some other sort of climb. But it's usually up a tower, so you're really high up there when you hit the buzzer. So there's a there is the, the normal spider climb at first, then they change it into the invisible ladder with the yeah, rings. Then with the doors. Yeah, then, then yeah, the, the spider trap with the doors pushing. Yeah, so. so it's very like, you know, to to keep the spirit that you're on the tower that you're yeah. like beat. Conquered, I got yeah. to the top, yeah. If we go into great um, difficulty of the obstacles like N0 and one, mm. does it mean like it will be an N0, N1, N2, N3, and etc.? It's really hard to determine that because there's uh, so many variables, especially on the show. It's very often the first time anyone's ever seen the obstacle, mm -hmm. which really bumps up the difficulty level pretty high. So we decided to imitate the actual uh, city finals course and uh, we already have kind of grades about uh, each obstacle and let's do it. And uh, I just want to remember the feeling, how it feels. <laughs>
Heart rate. 178. How you feeling? I feel good. So that was an easy course or what? <sighs> it's possible. Uh, yeah, it's uh, absolutely doable. The highest heart rate was an obstacle. Uh, eight, this rope thing. Yeah, this is, this is why it calls bubble, because you feel like a bubble. <laughs> You're going to pop. <laughs> yeah. Your tendons about to pop up, pop, pop, pop. This is the standard, standard uh, course on city finals, right? Yeah. Why don't we make some uh, small adjustments to make it impossible? Or maybe big adjustments? I mean, you, one of the most creative obstacle course designers I know, Sean Darling. So we do the same course, but with ex small adjustments, which makes them impossible, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Instead of having them at an even spacing, I'm moving this a little bit forward. It does bring it a little closer to the rope, but if I bring this backwards as well, it's a lot bigger of a stride. You know me well and you know that I hate it. <laughs> but it's not a personal thing, right? Yeah, oh, actually we'll put this in the last one. Thank you, now it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have this normally set up at Traverse Fitness um, for public use because it's kind of dangerous, but uh, Anton and I are professionals, so that's why we're doing it like this, trying to push it to the max to make it an impossible course. Yay, okay. It's a very simple change. I don't want to make this crazy difficult, but I do want to make it a lot more difficult. Can I, can I see the structure of the hold? It looks like it's a glow-in-the-dark piece. This is by Three Ball Climbing. This is... Very quality stuff. Smooth, no chalk allowed. So you replace the ring, the ring on is this a very amazing. Easy, easy hold, very forgiving. You grab it in many different places. This one, it's a vertical grip and slippery. Third obstacle, you have to go through the hoop on the dismount. Okay. No. I have experience. <laughs> I can put some footage. Flywheels, instead of grabbing like this on the flywheels, uh -huh. you have to grab kind of like a wing nut on the side. Oh, so, so I can use... the back side is off. You can only go on the front side. So I can use only one side of the... Every wheel, right? Yep, every wheel. All right, so this log, we first, we made it a lot looser. Second, I'm going to be adding blocks to it. Yeah, so the TP is the, the not touching. Very spinny log. I should give, give it a shot, right? Oh, okay. Please be careful. Know the difficulty. This might be too difficult. We might need to change it. Right, let's try right. <laughs> oh, you flashed it. Scary. You flashed it. <laughs> was it hard? My heart was pounding. That's oh, only 118. It was pounding hard, not fast, just hard. <laughs> Wing nuts. Last time, Anton grabbed the front of it and swung on it like this. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna use it as intended, which is only on the side. You have to catch sideways and you have to release sideways. A couple ways you can make it harder, but we're not Short, gonna... Short the dismount? Short, shorting the, shortening the run is number one. Um, on the show, it's about a 10 foot run up, estimating. We're gonna give him only a four foot run up. There's not really many ways you can make the salmon ladder more difficult except for the mount. So we're gonna make the mount a lot bigger of a jump. Much bigger jump is a dive for it. This obstacle I don't wanna make any more difficult. It's the most difficult obstacle here. Um, just being in a course is ridiculous alone. Um, so we're not gonna make it any more difficult, but it is an extremely hard obstacle in and of itself. This rope? The difficult part is throwing this on. Start. Reset. Oh. <laughs> Not even close. Anton, you're good at this. You should try it. Okay, I'll show you. I practiced for set the rope. All the people who are watching, who thinks he's going to do it? First try. Oh! No. oh Not even close. Wait, wait, wait. Second try. Yay! And it's almost even too. Yeah. You have to use it like that. I'm not going to make it even. That's, that's what makes it harder. It's a little uneven. Okay. Okay. Right. I'll adjust it. 
Not only does he have to go down, but he has to come back, which is basically doubling the effort. Okay. So you go there, go then there, backwards. Backwards. Then you just mount at any point you want, but you have to end up on this cliffhanger. You have to 180 lache up, 180 lache over, and then dismount beyond this Velcro. This is sick. <laughs> Why, why are you take weights? <laughs> on the last obstacle, the show on season six had just a um, spider climb. Mm -hmm. Then in season nine, I think in season nine, they added the spider trap. So there are trap doors they had to push up. Yeah. And the trap doors increasingly get heavier. So at the beginning, we'll start with a simple 15 pound weight. So you have to go up and then down. I'll give you the points of where you have to go up and down to. I'll give you this. You have to lift it over your head twice. And then you could drop it or put it down. The next time, you have a 25 pound weight. And then the last time, you have a 35 pound weight. What, what are the chances you think you'll make it all? Just think you flash it? I'll try my best for sure. So, Anton Fomienka. Anton, has anyone seen Anton? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, for people who doesn't know, this is how and on the show because there is a warm-up array for all competitors, and the people just with the list uh, start screaming the name of the next runner who should be ready. And they and usually, usually don't know who it is. Yeah, they usually don't know who it is. And like, oh, who is this? Like, so they're screaming in your did face. You see, did you see? Did you see Sean? Did you see Sean? <laughs> like, I have no idea who is Sean. <laughs> Anton Fomeko in five, four, three. Oh! Can you nope. try it again? Yeah, I'll try it again. There you go. Yeah. This is it. This is where differentiate the men from the boys. Balance is always a differentiator, but impossible balances differentiate the men from the professional men. What? <laughs> the first try. It is still spinning. I'm not smiling anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I 176. I take my rest time here. Yeah, 30 seconds max. I know. Do you think it's an impossible course? It's possible. Yeah? It's possible. Okay. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it's I painful. Sh I shouldn't be laughing. Sorry. Come on. Nice. All right, 30 seconds to the last obstacle. 185. 85, 185? Yeah. Oh, man. 
All right, he gets to the first spider trap. 15 pounds. Lift it overhead twice. <laughs> Come on. Over the line. All right. Last weight. Over red twice. Come on. For the glory. Time. Anton, how are you feeling? Horrible. Is it a possible course or is it impossible? It's possible. Impossible is possible. But slick, hold. We just have to, I think, to grab and absorb. But it was a mistake. You have to just squeeze and catch like like the last time. I underestimate this obstacle. So, rodeo rope, you kill the fingers. So cool, and on the cliffhanger, I just like grab, but you didn't listen up. Okay, feel better right now. Oh man. It looks like adults just having fun and play around, but it is tough. It's full body impact sport. I'm very happy that Ninja Warrior uh, sport became more popular and the last championship was a huge event so yeah it was hard I need a minute more <laughs> small adjustments make the uh, the courses uh, maybe twice harder yeah, yeah I definitely so that, that's why on the show they have, they have many many testers that test each individual obstacle one by one and then they put a couple together and they do full course runs and uh, if you do one obstacle even once, it makes it a lot easier during a course run. So then they also have people who run through it who have never touched any of them before too. So really dialing it in is really hard. And rating each obstacle I think would be uh, pretty difficult too. I'm pretty much like calm. My heart rate now is like 125. Mine's 74. Yeah, but I feel like... <laughs> I didn't just do a crazy course run. Should I do one? Try it. Yeah? Do you think I should try that? Yeah, you will like it. I'm pretty out of shape, but I think I'll, I should give it a go. I mean like... Uh, when John Bryan says that he is out of shape, it's uh, pretty much me in right. the best shape. So, yeah, okay. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your time. Uh, check out uh, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Sean Bryan. Train hard, stay creative, and enjoy your time. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, Sean Bryan. You ready? Five, four, This is the eight, one seventy. Do it again, do it again. Come on. Oh, explain that one. I don't want to explain that. Ah! <laughs>
<laughs> That's exactly what I've done. Three hours later. Oh, it will be super bad. Uh, <laughs> almost kill me. Come on, hear me. Yeah, and calm down. I don't want to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> nice, what do you think about the course? Is it impossible? I wouldn't you? say it's impossible, but it's pretty darn hard. Is it harder than on Probably the one of the hardest ones I've ever done. Really? Yeah. Who don't know, that Sean got just surgery on the shoulder, so yeah. he's pretty much... You still see the scars, they're not that bad. We need scars. Yeah. Where is scars? It blends in because I'm white. You can see. Oh, yeah, I can see the scar. This is my third, sorry, second, second Where's surgery car? on this oh, yeah, side. Yeah, I found it. This is car. Second surgery on this side. I've already had two on this side too. My yeah. shoulders don't like me very much. But you're ex-gymnast, right? Yeah. No, you can't be ex-gymnast. Gymnast is forever. <laughs> gymnast for life. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Was I like this all the time? Pretty much. Yeah. Well, you're more experienced in a, like you're, in you're, a... You're more experienced in growing a beard. This is my, yeah, this is my more first time. <laughs> my hairs are horrible. <laughs> it's okay. 